Welcome back to Straight Talk. Well, we're just getting interesting here. Now, we're talking about, uh, before the break, uh, the, the Mike Degania situation yeah. and the whole the enforcement of tobacco, so-called uh, illegitimate tobacco uh, trade. Um, you know, it's, uh, it, becomes a, it becomes a bigger issue. And, and I think that people have to, have to, have to actually look at this, this and, and, and go to the police or go to the council or do, take care of this. Because if it's not taken care of now, you're next or you could be next. And I'm serious, is because, first of all, by the police saying that they didn't know that was going to happen, is I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe that 100. percent I don't believe that they didn't know why the MUC was going there to talk to them. I don't. No, now, they, all the years yeah. I've. No, they when do. if the other police are going there, what do you want to talk to them for? What's the situation? Well, we're this and this. We're going to arrest and, you know, and then uh, to arrest him on cigarettes. That's to me. I think the Mohawk Council needs to do something. They need to do an investigation. <laughs> That's a joke. But anyway, they need to do something to find out why that happened and make sure that it never happens again and, and reprimand and or do something more severe to, in, to anybody who was involved in that. Warren White, for saying, oh, I didn't know what it was happening, which is, a, I, I think, a lot of crap. The chief of police saying the same thing that we we don't do it, but uh, we didn't know that yeah. that was going to happen, which is a lot of. My crap. sense is he doesn't really like the cigarette trade, anyways. Because if that if that's happening, then everybody I don't care who you are, whether you're selling out of your house, whether you have a store, whether anything else, the police can go and pick, pluck you up any single time that they want, and go and 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 have you charged under the, under the cigarette or excise act in a di different sure. jurisdiction because now they're doing. Remember I told. Remember I mentioned this. Months and months and months ago, I said that the police on the outside are getting more uh, inventive into how they're making arrests for cigarettes. They're looking at, you know, we're going to do organized crime. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're, you know, we're yeah. illegal sales. This is another... Well, another, they're initially outside, the, there was drugs tied to it. These another guys situation, you know what I mean? And they keep bringing that into yeah. effect. Just be, they can mention that, but it's going to happen, and and it, everybody then he's you get arrested for, for for tobacco and council on the other hand is saying that, it's legal. So if it's legal, then why are the police enforcing? And they're going to say that they're not, but they are. But, why are they, allowing another agency but, come in but, here to arrest somebody on something that's that's legal here? He didn't go. This Michael Degani didn't go to another jurisdiction to sell. He right. sold here. Time. Time. Okay. Right. Let's go back to the 1980s. Let's go back to the late 1990s and say, well, the council said about the cigarette trade way back in the 80s. We'll stand behind you guys. And, and what happened? The guys went to jail. Okay. In the late 1990s. Ask, talk to Jamie Ranch. Talk to, uh, to Mr. Jacobs. Talk to those guys way back then who uh, were, were charged with, with tobacco and uh, over excise issues. And the RCMP in the court document said, well, the, the PKs would don't enforce it, but that no way emasculated our investigation. We freely continued with wiretaps, uh, camera surveillance, so on and so forth in Ganawagi. Now, that begins to tell you something about a pattern about how things are happening. Uh, people work together. Those police, the, the peacekeepers, I'm sorry, they do work with the RCMP and they do work with the Certe Quebec. How closely they work is, is one of the issues that we're seeing. Now, on a political level, at all this time, you'd say that what, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the 10 agreements with Quebec, the sectoral agreements and the policing agreement, we, we, we said all this stuff about, about jurisdiction and so on. Well, we didn't really, did we? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have a tobacco agreement or whatever, it was all the peculiarities that make this such a political bugaboo here, but the council really hasn't, hasn't moved that one iota. So the council can stand there and the council can tell you in the tobacco industry, oh, well, what's legal? Okay, and then when you go to court, like Mr. Jacobs et al., Jamie Ranch, and all those guys, and <clears> say, <throat> you know, look, plead guilty, but uh, induced to official error. The council cannot, on one hand, say that um, we support the the cigarette or the tobacco trade, and it's legal in this community to sell, and allow this to happen, somebody to be charged with illegal sale in the community. How is that? 
It doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know, it, but it, on another level too, I mean, that's the, on the tobacco side, but on the policing side in terms of jurisdiction, well, do we have any real ju jurisdiction or not? That's a big question to me. Because a couple of years back, I happened to know somebody in town who was paid a visit by two of the investigators from the PK in plain clothes who, came, who went to her house and there was supposedly a boyfriend who was not living with her at the time, had they'd, they'd separated, it's, allegedly was involved in some kind of stuff over the bridge, okay? And they, and they showed up with uh, some mustachio guys from the F MUC, and they said, want to talk to you, come in and talk to you, you don't have blah, blah, whatever it was they said. And those guys went in and executed a search warrant uh, in, in her apartment and took all kinds of stuff. They didn't have anything to do with him. Went through uh, her, her personal effects on stuff that didn't even have to do with him. He wasn't there. Took papers that belonged to her that didn't have anything to do with him. And so the PK stood by and brought in an outside police force to conduct MUC, Montreal cops, coming in to do a search warrant in Gunawagi. And I, you know, I don't know the, the, the No, the, I'm just the, telling the, you. I'm, so those are questions, yeah. you know, that, that, that really, to me, I mean, we've got to be asking, and, and you know what? This is as much political as it is policing. You know what? What are you guys, what are they doing? What are they really you know, doing? In, in, in the situation like that, I'm not saying whether it was right or whether it was wrong, but I don't know the circumstances, so it's hard for me to even say one way or another. Us, meaning the police in this community, do the same thing in, in another jurisdiction when something happens. We go there, say we, have an, we, we want to execute a warrant at somebody's apartment or house and stuff like that and their police uh, allow us to do that and help us. So why doesn't anybody say that? I mean, just come right out and say, so, you the know, a PR thing. Yeah. And, and it's say, not a PR thing, it's a working no, no. relationship that you no, have. No, 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 but, but, but you have, you, but then you need to tell people in the community, what are the rules? Yeah. And then you know what, and that's the problem, that's the problem that in, in a lot of years now that our police been hiding and not coming to the community and, and, and at least saying, talking about some of these things, unless there's a negative. You don't, you know what, the, you don't hear them being proactive for anything, nothing. They should be there saying, okay, this is going on, this, and answer questions to the community. But no, they hide. They hide in their office. They, they don't come out to the community. Mm -hmm. Or they'll send somebody that has no authority that can't answer any questions and just say, well, I, don't, I can't answer that. But the right pe the people who should be answering it are not answering it and are not telling the community what's going on and stuff. You know, we don't expect them to, to tell us every part of their, their job, but, you know, they should be at least letting the community know what's going on. It's the same thing as chiefs, the chiefs on cut when they come on there and they're, they're talking about their portfolio. What's wrong with the police coming on to do that? It would at least, it would make more rapport with the community instead of hiding all the time. You know, when somebody hides and somebody doesn't say anything, then I have a problem that, what do you have to hide? Exactly. So, and exactly. why aren't you answering to the community? Yeah. Because that's who's paying your salary indirectly. Yeah. But I would like... But, I would, no, the I taxpayers would, are paying well, your salary. So. You know, but, but I, I would... Well, yeah, that's, that's yeah. the story. Yeah. But, the, but what I would like to, I would like the council to just come straight out and say, you know what, nothing we're doing is really ever going to lead us to a situation where we have uh, complete jurisdiction over our territory. Yeah. Okay, we haven't moved any of the political tables to that effect, 20 years into it. We think we have uh, jurisdiction over here, but... Um, oh, yeah, but, but you know but what, the people, the people who, <laughs> yeah. who, who shouldn't be doing that stuff, I think they know that we don't, and it's easier to let people think we do because that's yeah. politically expedient when it comes to election time. Yeah, you know, we talked about a lot of things on the show today. Um, you know, with the uh, the sex registry, the um, you know the the arrest with um, with Mike Degani and the uh, and the, the situation in regards to tobacco in his community and and what's next and how is that going to play itself out and 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 all those things and and how does that work out? You know, we want more feedback from from people. We've gotten a lot already, but that's the reason why we're talking about these issues now. But we want more feedback from the community and. Uh, if you have any questions or comments surrounding what we're talking about today, mm -hmm. or you have any suggestions for, for future shows, or if you want to come on as a guest and, and talk about something, you're more than welcome. You can um, email us at mohawktv at hotmail.com or phone us at 
six six three four five zero six three two six three nine seven or you can email me at Michael Stock Senior at hotmail.com or Ross at Arc uh, 54 at simpatico.ca or if you see me at the post. So we're going to wind down another show and uh, we'll be back in two weeks. So Nyawa and Onigiwai. Oh no. <laughs>